Hey guys, welcome to today's ridiculous video. We are going to do a viewer request. Hop on over to Sephora. We're gonna shop together, order makeup together, except for, drum roll please, I will not be the one picking out the makeup. Oh no, the Sephora virtual assistant will. So basically, could I title this like robot picks out my makeup? Full face of makeup picked out by no one but AI. We are diving into the future. I personally could do a whole video series on just how much I don't like AI and where it's headed. My opinion, you don't have to agree with me, but we're in a world that is advancing. Technology continues to accelerate. I try to keep things as simple as I can. I've never been like a gamer. I'm not into virtual reality. I don't think I'll be in the metaverse because I just prefer personally the actual real universe. <laughs> nature i don't know like i don't use airpods um i don't have an eye watch tracker like i even stopped using high-tech calendars on my phone i do everything by hand and basically i live in the olden times so this will be interesting i mean can like the robot AI virtual assistant outdo me. We are going to find out together, okay? All right, so we are over on sephora.com. Live beauty help. Here we go, chat live with an expert. Is this a real person or is this AI? There's a picture of a person. Why do I wanna ask? Like, are you real people? A primer for combo skin. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's talking to me. This is like, I have a friend. <laughs> Her name's Haley. I'm sensing that she has some good recommendations because the bubbles are like, she's thinking about it. Mm. Hello there, I'm happy to help. What are you looking for your new primer to do for your skin makeup? Um. <laughs> Minimize pores. Don't think I spelled that right. <laughs> Why is this making me laugh? Is this a person or is this a robot? I really would like to know if I'm talking to an actual person or a robot. Have you guys ever had the telemarketer calls where literally if you ask them like a trick question, like they'll like fritz out and literally beep, boop, boop, beep, like that. Like I will do that. You know, I'll ask like, I don't know, who's the president or something. They're like, and like meltdown. Um, yeah. Hold tight for just a moment while I pull that product for you. I'm holding tight and also getting free samples. This is a process, man. I mean, how many items do I want to get? Because like I could be, I could, Haley, we could be here for a while. I'm going to give her a heads up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Full coverage. Do you know what's so strange too? I think part, like if I were to go into the therapist chair right now, like I think part of my issue of not wanting help from people is like probably childhood junk because I kid you not, I even feel like feelings of like, I'm wasting your time, Haley. I know you just recommended a great primer for me, but uh, can you help me with foundation and concealer also? I don't even know if this is a real person. So that's really funny to me that I have those feelings of like, can you also like, we're gonna need blush, mascara, some brow products, like just get comfortable because I have a lot of questions, you know? And I feel, oh, there's that word guilt. I feel, I don't, uh, 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 my leg, uh. Okay, so let's see here. So the makeup, uh, I'm adding it to basket. Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Primer. I've used this one way back when. This is a good recommendation. Like, like yes, I like it. What kind of finish are you wanting? Like a natural, natural finish. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Should I just type in, I basically need you to find me like a whole face, thanks. All right, she's got it for me. This is freaking hilarious. <laughs> This is a highly rated, lightweight, crease-proof, full coverage concealer with a natural finish that blends out seamlessly. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. Color 19, how does she know what color I am though? You know what I'm saying? Okay, how about blush? <laughs> this is a highly rated 24 hour wear. Oh, 
I've never seen this. Hey, okay. Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. Yeah, I absolutely want that. Uh, amazing, what are you looking for from your new blush? Long wearing. Oh my gosh, she's talking to me like, so, she's like, do you want that to be a natural finish as well? There's something like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'll go look for that. I don't think this is a real person. Powder or cream? She's really polite. I like that. Hey, I have this one. So this is actually one that we do not need to purchase. Perfect. How about a good loose setting powder? Oh my gosh, can I spell? <laughs> I don't know why I have combo skin is an important thing I wanna put out there, but like, I don't want anything too drying. All right, the One Size Patrick Star Ultimate Blurring Setting Powder. This I have not tried, so we'll add that to the basket. I really wanna ask, are you, is your real name Haley? Um, yes. Funny you should say that, Haley, because today, the bronzer that I used was Nude Envy, I believe, and then I topped it with a little bit of LYS right here. And I feel like it's a little bit shiny, like especially up here, right? Like it's like a little too shiny maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like I don't have the patience for this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh wow, oh, okay. This is a matte natural buildable bronzer that is buildable on the skin without looking powdery or patchy. She knows a lot about makeup. I'm just gonna steal my job. We're waiting for a highlight recommendation. Okay, I have this one too. Smashbox Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Awesome, thank you. I'm looking for a full face of Hey, Haley, what? I wasn't done. Oh my gosh. My Sephora beauty advisor just hung up on me. Um, I am, I'm feeling certain feelings right now. I'll still give you a 10. Yeah, sure, okay. Stop, stop. I said 10, let me go. Why, 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 why? Uh, okay, start a new chat. Hey, makeup. <laughs> I need a pretty nude lip combo. <laughs> I love that I was typing. Awesome, thank you. I'm looking for a full face of me. And <laughs> she like hung up on me. I'm like, wait, wait, come back. My self-esteem is injured, come back. Are your beauty advisors real people? Ooh, Jessica. Jessica is gonna help us with a lip combo. Oh, 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 we're gonna find out the tea right now. I might get hung up on again. Um, yes, we are. No way. <laughs> um, okay. Nude beige. Pink is what I'm going for. The gloss, super shiny. Shawnee. <sighs> okay. Now for the lip liner, I think you will love the Lip Contour 2.0 Automatic Matte Lip Pencil, which is nude brownish tone that is perfect for a nude combo. Okay, great. I think I have that one. I do. Yo. Okay. Jessica, I like your style. It's a great rec. Okay, what else she got? Ooh, okay. Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte and Satin Velvet Lipstick. She recommends butterscotch or butterscotch or soft brown. Okay, gloss. Mm, let's see here. I had an issue with the gloss bomb that I don't know if it is just like my own coincidence, superstition, whatever you wanna call it. But I bought the Fenty Gloss Bomb and had like an irritation on my lips. And I remember loving that gloss so much, but I had to stop using it for that reason. Never had that issue again, bought it, used it, same thing happened. And so I'm like, don't be dumb. This is just not for you. 
So I threw my gloss bomb away. So I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want another one. There's something in it that like just does not, it's so beautiful, which like just makes me go, Ugh, you know, cause I love it. But there's some ingredient or something in there that just does not, like my body is like, don't like this. So I'm trying to listen to my body more these days, you know? Refi, okay, perfect. Eyeshadow palette. Natural mascara. Do, do, do. What's your favorite beauty product? <laughs> Pat my. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. This is not available. Um, do you ever watch YouTube beauty videos? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, come back. She does not want me to ask any personal questions. The second you get personal, they're just like, it was a pleasure. Goodbye. I think you're a robot. Are you real? Okay, let's see here. Okay, so my bag has, she didn't give me a mascara recommendation though. Like Jessica, what's up? I'd like to get to my bag. Come on, come on. Um, clearly my phone hates me right now. I'm trying to get that Pat McGrath thingy. Okay, let's go home and see if we can um, get another helper to help us. Can I get someone to help me, please? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got the foundation, the concealer, the powder, the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, the eyeshadow palette, the lip combo. All I need now is a mascara, a brow product, and a good setting spray. So I'm gonna let my phone kind of chill because I think that they don't wanna talk to me right now. It's like not reloading. And I will screen record that, we'll snap it on in, and then try out all of these products. I think this was kind of fun. Let's, uh, I guess, go into the future. It is a day later now, and I have successfully, maybe a little too successfully gone to Sephora because um, let me share with you all. I don't have patience to order things online. I'm like, I need it like, right now and Sephora is just down the street. So let me take this virtual assistance list, go in the store, grab the things and come back here. And obviously we're gonna try it all on. So yay, how's your day going? My day is going interesting. Um, I found my favorite coconut water of all time, random, not important information. It's called Taste Nirvana. Uh, it's expensive and I literally take like little sips, like little sips. Beachy, just beachy and delicious. Mm. All right, let's get to the makeup. Let's get to the makeup. We already know what I'm putting on, so. Let's dive on in with the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizing Primer. This is a 24 hour wear smoothing base. I have not tried this in years, but I used to obsess over these bases. I would use different ones for different parts of my face and I had kind of forgotten about it. So thank you for the recommendation, Haley. I do have to say my suspicions are high. They are high with the Sephora Assistant Online. Remember how I had three things left to pick out, a setting spray, mascara, and did I get brows? I don't think I did, shoot. Anyway, I tried several times to go back in and be like, help me please. But it was like unavailable and like there's a little circle with the cross through it. It's like, sorry, like we're not here right now. We cannot assist you. I think I asked like too many personal questions and somehow got flagged maybe? I don't know. What do you guys think? James is like, no, they wouldn't do that. Just refresh it and try it again. And I would try again and it'd just be like, we're unavailable for you right now. Sorry, toodaloo. So I was like, whatever. I just, I wanna go to Sephora and shop and pick up the things. So I just picked up on my own the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray from One Size Beauty. And then I also got this new mascara. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about it. This is called The Profession All, like A-L-L, -L, The Profession All. Kind of cheesy, but whatever, it sucked me in and I am excited to try it. Step one, lift. Step two, 
volume. Also, I had really been wanting to try this ambient soft glow foundation from Hourglass. I'm staring at it right here and it looks super dark. Uh, this is shade 10.5, we're gonna see. I'm a little intimidated looking at that now, but uh, let's kind of just continue on the journey. Before I go into foundation, I am gonna put on some concealer. I did pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Number six, Magic Touch. Concealer, let's start there. And boom, boom, full coverage moment. Wow, this is very shape tapey, right? Mm -hmm. A little of this, and maybe a little bit of this. I'm gonna try and like not have the mirror cover my whole face. Yikes. Um, that happened in a recent video. And I myself was watching it and I'm like, move the mirror, move the mirror out of the way. You know, and like it was, uh, it was a whole thing. There's something that is mildly warming on the skin from this concealer that has me slightly concerned. Like it literally feels a little bit hot underneath my eyes. Let's go in to the foundation. I'm taking a Scott Barnes 6-8 stippling brush. I've been really into stippling brushes. Wow, that is sure dark. I just, I like the application, especially if you have a little bit of contour or highlight going on. It's just, it gives such a nice, balanced amount of coverage. And then sometimes I'll just take my beauty blender on top of it and get a little bit of the excess off. I did not mention, here was my suspicion over the virtual assistant. I keep saying it's a virtual assistant, the online shopping assistant that's virtual to me. Like, I guess that's technically a virtual assistant, right? She recommended the beauty blender foundation that is new that I hadn't even heard of. I was so excited to be like, oh my gosh, they have a new foundation. I've been waiting for this and they didn't have it in the store. And then in store, we looked online, you can't even order it yet. So why would that be recommended? You know what I'm saying? So I had to do kind of an on the spot, what else is new, what, you know, what do we have going on here? And that's what led me to this product right here, which I am always down to try a new foundation. And P.S., this is beautiful. It's nice and bronzy, but neutral and not overly yellow, pinky or orange. It's just got this like nice bronzy look to it. Yes, I'm liking this. I get just a little bit more, go around the mouth. You know what, while we're here, let's just see how it layers. Why not? I don't know, let's go for just a little more. This reminds me of a slightly thicker L'Oreal Infallible with a little bit of a softening effect to the skin without it being greasy. It's not gel greasy, it's not oily greasy. It just has this really subtle, gorgeous, natural finish. It does not look like much on the skin. This is really, really, really nice. And this is not bad either. This one. The warming sensation of it is a little weird, but whatever. We're gonna go in with the Ultimate Setting Powder from One Size Beauty. This is a translucent shade that looks a little yellow in tone. So maybe there's just like a, a little whisper of color in here, we'll see. I don't really understand this packaging too much, but it's fine. Kind of comes through the middle portion right here. I don't know how I feel about that. The powder is kind of sticking to a few spots. We're gonna have to see how it wears. I almost liked the foundation more before the powder, but also there is that thing where you want powder to set and lock everything in. So yeah. All right, we're gonna go in with the bronzer now from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Medium. Now we're gonna go in with Lawless, which I already owned this blush and I love the Lawless blush. It lasts a really long time. It's nice and bright, easy to blend, won't break you out, clean ingredients, just like win, 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 you know? 
All right, now we're gonna go into lips. What was recommended to me is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Warm Brown. We're gonna go in now with the Anastasia Satin Lipstick in Butterscotch. I don't know that I would put these two together, but... Uh... Okay, well I really like the texture of this lipstick. These are both in their own right, beautiful on their own. I just don't know how I am feeling about them together. Let's now go on top. Remember, I was like, I want a high shine lip gloss. And this was the recommendation. I haven't tried anything from this brand. This is Refi. This is the Brilliant Lip Gloss. I'm excited to try this. Love a good gloss. This uh, is an interesting kind of balmy type of an applicator. So I prefer if I'm gonna wear like a wet looking gloss, I do prefer a doe foot applicator, but I still was like gonna go hard with the recommendations and just see what this was about. I mean, that is shiny. It's a little slippery, oily. Reminds me a little bit of the Hourglass lip treatment. Mm, I'm not loving the lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Not loving the lips. Now, I was such a space cadet in Sephora, um, if you can imagine. I go in there maybe like once a month now, and when I go in, I'm just like, new things everywhere. Like, even though I was on a mission for this particular video, I could not help but look around a little bit, right? So I'll show you guys. And this is my reasoning for forgetting to get a brow product for this whole adventure of a full face, so forgive me. I did get this though. This is from Ilia, and this is the shade Juniper which is literally the ugliest shade I have ever seen. Like this is such an ugly shade, but hear me out. You know, this is something Jaclyn Hill in the past has said. And every time she would say this in videos, I was like, I agree. Um, so, you know, shout out to her, but a baby puke, like baby diarrhea kind of a color. That's the description, but like when you're using it as makeup, it works. It does something to like bring the skin tone to life. It just, it's very flattering, this kind of a pukey green. So I was so interested to see this formula, which I know and love, and more of a matte finish in a liquid with this creamy intense shade. Just like, let's deviate from this video for two seconds and just like ooh and awe over that. I cannot wait to get this hideous shade on my eyes and have it just enhance me, you know? So I got that and I forgot brows. Whoops, whoops. But you know what, we can fix it because she's got a lot of makeup. I'm gonna be using Viseart. I'm back in this ever since my palette video, nonstop, love, love, love this for brows. You know, the lip combo is kind of growing on me for some reason. The brows, I went too much into this dark shade and forgot that I had really enjoyed using this one, the cool mattes more. So my eyebrows are like a little bit like, whoa, those are some brows. Um, it's a little more red than I would like, but uh, it's okay. It'll look better once the eye makeup is on, which what we have here is the most adorable little mini eyeshadow palette called Midnight Voyage from Pat McGrath. I'm really excited. How super adorable, cute. Let's try to get a close up. So cute, so super, super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with the matte brown right in the middle, boom, boom, boom. And we are going to, you guessed it, go high crease. I'm actually not gonna go out super far over here though. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pretty, as expected. I'm gonna go on the inner corner with the bronzy shade, just with my fingertip right here. And about at that halfway point, I'm gonna go into the brightest purple right below it. And kind of take the pigment here and move it in a little bit. Not rubbing too hard, just more patting.
Okay, now I'm gonna take the lighter purple in the middle and I'm just gonna go right in the center, not go up too high. Let's take an angled brush. I'm gonna go into this plum shade with a Scott Barnes 5.9. And I'm just gonna really pack the brush. And I'm gonna take the setting spray that we have to try out and I'm going to wet it. Have I tried this? Am I losing my mind? Maybe. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, there's a little fallout issue. Gosh darn it. Now, I'm gonna kind of whisk away some of that pesky fallout. Take another detailed brush. I'm gonna go in to the highlight shade here, go underneath and really punch up the inner corner and take that up a little bit as well. Pretty. All right, my lashes are already curled and I do wanna go in with this amazing, or sounds amazing, new one from Make It Forever. I am gonna do a heavy hit of the mist on the face really quick prior. And then while my face is still a little bit damp, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter that was recommended in the shade Opal. Don't you hate it when you get your nail in the pan of like a pretty product? Why? And actually this is the shade Moonstone. I just wanna correct and not mislead. I thought I had the shade Opal, but I guess I don't. I'm liking this look. It was easy and all the products are performing really nicely. So we're gonna go in with the step one. It's a thinner brush right here. I don't know, that seems like a lot of work for some reason. Like it's not laying down much of anything. I don't know. You know, I was kind of expecting a little more. It's more volumizing than it is lengthening. So I will say that. What do we think? Dude, I have some major like wah, wah, wah hair too. I worked out this morning and I'm in that phase of my life where I don't wanna wash my hair so much because I want it to be healthy, but also I'm working out like every single day. And the dry shampoo that I have is Briogeo and then Rahua. If you guys have other recommendations, let me know. I'm just in this era, I complain about it in almost every video where I'm like, my hair, oh my gosh. Mwah. So here we are yet again with kind of a wonky-ish hair day. It's okay, it's not bad. And like really beautiful, pretty clean, fresh makeup. I actually have to say that they did a great job picking out new products for me to try, reminding me of some old kind of iconic products like the primer. I definitely will be reaching for that again. The eyeshadow is a smash, smash hit. And then everything else, I'm excited about the concealer, the foundation. I'm gonna have to see how it wears, but it's super comfortable. The skin looks creamy and beautiful. The lip combo, I don't know. And then the setting spray is pretty intense. My face feels really like I just hit it with some hairspray, which I had done a Tip Tuesday on that a million years ago. I don't recommend it. Buy an actual product like this if you're going for that lock-in. But everything's said and done, you guys. This was fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a viewer request. So keep those coming. I take them very seriously. And I just love having a good time filming and finding fun things to try out. Will we ever know if the virtual assistant is a real person that enjoys YouTube videos or not? We're not gonna find out. I don't know, leave your comments below. All right, you guys, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell before you leave. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.